Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucklight here, and we're continuing Illusion of Gaia. And uh, we're heading further on into the uh, the Great Wall of China. And I paused there because I realized that I'm not able to uh, actually progress. We actually need to go back. And there's a reason. I need to actually switch to being free, Dan. I forgot about this part. So down we go. And the reason is the only way to open up the next area is to, uh... Well, maybe not. Hmm. What am I missing here? I just got the, uh, the ability to do this. But that's not gonna really help me here. What in the world am I missing? Maybe I have to go all the way back. Yeah, probably that. Um... So, I guess I'm a bit lost now, huh? Let's go up this way. Let's go to the left, see what we can find. Let's see if there's another uh, dark space I can enter here and turn into freedom. Maybe not. Well, this got a little bit harder here. Nope, screwed up. How about here? Um, I seem to have forgotten where things are. <laughs> what just something really stupid like I that I forgot? Yeah, that was close. Here we go. Free Dan. All right, here we go. Okay, back on track. <laughs> that was an odd way to start an episode, just being completely lost. Usually, I don't get lost until at least the fifth minute mark, six minute mark. So I probably should have transformed at some point earlier, but I didn't. So whatever. Make our way past this. Let's do it the correctly. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get over there. See, the reason why I didn't turn into Freedan earlier is because I do remember that I have to face this boss as Will, so it probably threw me off. And that's my bad. Well, this guy's gonna die now. Goodbye. And the path is open. Let's move on. Come on back over here. Fire go. Ah! Should have dodged. I think I walked into him a few times there. I don't think that fire guy's gonna come down here on this side, so I'll get him on the other side. To move these suckers. Hmm. I'll do it this way. Ready? There we go. Okay, you're coming this way. And that way. And we'll put you right up against the side there. And pass through. Err. push you against the wall, just go around you, and turn them all into living, breathing archers. Uh, 
And we need to go back and kill them all. Nice. <laughs> that was a nice block. There we go. The room is clear. How many more we got? One enemy upstairs. The one that I passed. Up we go. Come on down. And there we go. We got a weapon power up. Which is very useful. Alright, past we go. Yeah, so here's the part where I need to be well. So, downstairs probably holds the key to that. You stop. Hey, more snakes. Trying to take it as little damage as possible here. So I'm gonna try to dodge those arrows. Nothing back there. Here's another way down, but we're gonna clear this area first. Nope, can't hit him from here. Best part about being free, Dan, is his range. Have to get in the enemy's faces, really. All right, back to the door. Ooh. Okay, so here's how you can tell the ones that are going to come alive versus the ones that aren't. Uh, look at the two guys on the right. The one on the left with the kind of sunken eyes, that's not going to come to life. The one on the right, who kind of looks like he has more graphics to him, that one's going to come alive. Also, he has the bow. The, you can see the uh, the arrow quiver on his back. So, he's gonna come alive. Especially when I stab him. Plus, uh, the ones at the bottom will face down. <laughs> Those are even more obvious. There's another one. And uh, the other hint would be the radar. So, this game is not very good at hiding his stuff, but uh, that's perfectly okay. <laughs> One more right there. And this is supposed to be similar to the terracotta soldiers that uh, are in the uh, ancient Chinese history. Oh, and this opened. This will allow us to teleport, uh, not teleport, become will, return to our main form. Although he does it kind of slow. There we go. Now I get to do a little bit more spinning action. One thing I'm not going to uh, like coming up is uh, the secret area you have to be Will. <laughs> and I stink as Will. Oop, screwed it up again. This one's hard because you gotta hold buttons and then tap the L and R keys, and it's just a little bit rough. Alright, so here's where the boss is. We're gonna jump off the wall. And jump off the wall, and we're in sand. And here we go. Now, this guy's actually pretty easy. If uh, I use the same tactic on this guy as I did on the uh, boss for. Um, uh, the second boss of Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, those Moldorms, I think that's the name of them, the ones in the Desert Palace, is I stand right underneath where he's going to pop out, and I just slice and slice and slice. And uh, he doesn't seem to hit me when I... he goes up and down, so... I mean, I could use other tactics, I could use, like, you know, the spin dash and all that other crap, but... This one's, you know, it's it's a little bit slow, I admit, 
but it'll uh, it'll get the job done, and it's safe. This is not a very tough boss, which we needed the breather anyway. You just have to be quick with the uh, slices because he doesn't give much time to uh, when he jumps out. So usually he doesn't. So he's more than half done. So. Yeah, when he does that, then it's pretty awesome, because you can get in a lot of strikes. I'm just gonna deal with that little guy now. Oop. Shot out a bomb. Alright, let's get rid of that little guy when he pops out. There we go. Almost done. Come back out. There we go. And it said, hey, you got a Mystic Statue. And that's the fourth one. And that's it. Alright, that's blocked off. Nope, oh, ladder. So essentially we jumped down to kill that thing and then climb back up to... right where we were. And down here, there's no enemies, but here's Lance. <laughs> You're crazy. How did he get past the damn worm? If you follow stone chips, the trail leads here. Oh yeah, I did find those, didn't I? Um, no, that's your job. Later. <laughs> it's only like, what, I, how many did I pick up? Like two? Is she gonna run again? <laughs> yeah, you stink and you have all right. <laughs> Aw. Love on the trail, I guess. I almost said battlefield. I'm, like, eh, I'm the one doing all the fighting here. Yeah, let's go. Now she can go in his pocket and leave me alone. Apparently I just left and just left him there. <laughs> Later. Alright, we need crux. Need to get a crux. Everybody's talking about crux. Alright, so I guess we're done with that. So let's explore the town now that it's night and see what disasters we can get into. <laughs> How about down here? Anything good? That's no, snakes. Tell me how to do snakes that I've already beaten. Alright, so apparently what's going on is everybody's talking about the same stuff. Nothing new. I already killed the Sandfanger. Here, don't tell me the same stuff.
Anything in here? Uh, nothing new. Nothing new. Jeweler gem. Give me my dark power. Oh, now when I use dark fire again, I have to show you something. So, last thing. It's coming up. Anyway, I'm going to uh, check out what's next in this town, and uh, on the next episode we will uh, hopefully progress to the west, across the desert. We'll see what's up there. So I hope you join me for that. My name is Lucklight, thank you for watching. Have a good one.